Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing some general but it's not gonna be general drunker which is the deck I used to be maining and playing a lot with. It's gonna be a general bomb skeleton which is pretty much more meta right now like there's there are many top players that uh, kind of shifted to playing bomb skeleton uh, for the reason that deck is uh, way easier to play and kind of has some matchups that the normal general drunker deck has not uh, so yeah we're gonna be going instantly with the uh, general and bomb skeleton he's gonna get a very decent uh, cycle against uh, our push so it's gonna be uh, not looking well for us it actually will uh, Actually, my opponent will be playing a, a Super Ape deck, which is kind of unexpected, but at the same time, we kind of can make a, a work around it. So, recently, Ion uh, posted a deck with uh, Super Ape and Bomb Skeleton in a respective game, so I presume he's playing uh, this exact variation. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna try to challenge this deck, obviously. There's no reason we shouldn't, and I think they... Uh, the correct way of playing it will be always meeting uh, his bomb skeleton at the bridge with our bomb skeleton and trying to get like a, a general with a bit of pressure so he cannot like stack all these spells uh, in one place. I think that's gonna be a good plan for now and he's gonna play Bomberman. I think so far it's gonna be good to go for us and we're gonna be playing a, a general on the opposite side to just force out some uh, response. It would be obviously very comfortable for us if it is the case. I didn't want to get this bomb skeleton on the tower and I really hope it's not on the tower because if it is, yeah, we're gonna be at the very huge uh, uh, disadvantage. I'm gonna play a uh, cam here. He's gonna be actually playing an earthquake to uh, break through and that's gonna be a lot of damage actually. So yeah, we're already in a very rough spot. I would love to get a flying bomb against this Bomberman and I don't think I can break through this. Yeah, he's gonna be just blocking with a bomb skeleton. I'm gonna play on the opposite side with the general though, so we're gonna get a roll. Uh, footman kick here. That's gonna be fine so far. He's gonna get a uh, very interesting cycle. I'm gonna set up another bomb skeleton. And right now we pretty much have to kinda outplay because I received uh, so much like unnecessary damage in the process. He's gonna miss an earthquake, which is very huge for us, and uh, like that's a very huge spend for him to get uh, zero damage. So we're gonna be just going for the general and pretty much hope that we're gonna break through that. He's gonna be playing a uh, phone hut, which I think is not the best play. I'm gonna play a footman kick to clean up. This bomb skeleton of his is still occupied, so. I'm gonna be absolutely flabbergasted. This general actually will get some uh, huge hits. I'm gonna play another general and unfortunately this bomb skeleton will be no more. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. He's gonna be playing a foam hut which I will promptly take out. This general will get one hit, maybe two. If it was uh, two hits, I would have instantly won. But yeah, it's not gonna be the case. I'm gonna block this bomb skeleton because I know he wants to go for a super ape at the bridge. Uh, that's actually a very smart play. I didn't expect that. But we're gonna uh, take care of it in a very uh, simple way. We're gonna get a flying bomb. And I think in the spare race he cannot catch us. So that was a very close game. I'm gonna obviously drop a good game because he was very close. Uh, uh, from taking it uh, from us and yeah, that was gonna be the game number one very cool uh, Played by your daddy, but unfortunately, it's gonna be us. that's gonna take this game number one And we're in another game of today's video. It's gonna be against Shikyolo, so who has 1500 pretty decent score for him I would say he was always like finishing on like 12 15 uh, for 12 1300 so he kind of put some uh, grinding gears in the season and got to work, as I can see. Uh, we're gonna be playing with the same deck as previously, obviously nothing changes. He's gonna be probably playing Steelbait from the cards I've seen so far, so that's gonna be an interesting one. Oh, he was playing Super Devil, so yeah, I don't know what's that uh, all about, but yeah, we're gonna try to figure that out uh, regardless. I'm gonna get a, a foot, uh, footman keg on this Dark Knight, which should stop the uh, bomb girl. And at the same time, 
I'm gonna like uh, get a lot of value from my bomb skeleton. I'm gonna set up a general. I think I could have set up, yeah, higher so that yeah, bomb skeleton will already die and only then my uh, yeah, bomb won't help that much. But actually, actually, it will clean up a decent chunk. So it was a ver very successful sequence even though I kinda mess it up and Shikyol also already is kinda resigning which is uh, at the one side justified because he absolutely lost a tower uh, to the first push but at the same time I would say it's a premature resignation he still had the time to come back to this game but yeah I don't blame him this deck is very toxic as as you can see from a very good player I'm already taking a 3 star and yeah with that being said we're gonna jump to the game number 3 on today's video Okay, so we're in the next game against Trippy here with 610 medals. He plays an Ice Tiny as a first play, which pretty much can mean anything. Uh, another thing you kinda want to note with the deck I'm playing is that you don't really have any sort of pressure uh, put on you that you have to make first play. It's very common to just wait for your opponent to make the first move, and that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna actually spelled it everything out because he went very aggressive and I think it shouldn't be like that like I'm gonna just clean on the board since he wanted to do something at the bridge I'm gonna just uh, disable it and I think I'm up three mana so I'm gonna just play a um, super devil in the back uh, as a kind of a way of uh, selling all out my advantage uh, he's gonna go in which is Definitely a correct move. I would love to uh, get a bomb skeleton against uh, this push, but yeah, I'll, I'll have to just uh, complicate things a bit because I just wasn't having enough mana in the first place. I'm gonna receive some damage from this mother devil, and uh, that was actually a very successful push out of him because oh my god, this. Ooh, this mother devil did way more than I anticipated, so that was a very successful counter push out of him. And obviously he got a skeleton horde on my general, so I did nothing. So that's gonna be a thing that I'll have to kinda uh, include in my calculations in this game. So I like uh, kinda will have to base trade if he yeah if he does the same thing. So yeah, we're gonna just uh, let it go and pretty much uh, base trade because uh, yeah I th there's. There's nothing uh, too big I can do except... Okay, that I think that's gonna be actually GG because I was not having this footman kick. I thought I'm gonna get it like right away, but yeah, it wasn't the case. He actually outplayed me here, so... Now I'm uh, reading this matchup. I was playing against 3P before, but I didn't like analyze the, his deck. Yeah, I, I should have been way more passive and don't go for these tower trades because his Skeleton Horde pretty much cleans up and I don't have a good spell against Skeleton Horde. So yeah, that was, that was very unfortunate, but a loss is a loss. Sometimes it just happens. And yeah, with that being said, we're gonna jump to the next game. As you can see, with this deck you pretty much play a lot of like games that end very quickly, so that's gonna be another very fun factor in playing this deck, because uh, you'll sometimes obviously get to the overtime, but like uh, most of the games will be end very uh, prematurely. Also this phone king just absolutely ignores my footman cake, which is very unfortunate. Uh, I need to kind of focus a bit because I'm just losing so many interactions uh, because I kind of take these games for granted. He's gonna be playing another Phone King, which is obviously a good move against my Bomb Skeleton. Uh, I would love to g uh, get a full counter from this bomb, but I know it's not the case. Uh, bomb Skeleton's bomb got nerfed pretty heavily uh, throughout the um, throughout the times, I would say. And yeah, it's not enough to counter even a uh, half health uh, Fallen King. So yeah, in this matchup, I think the best way uh, to come back... I don't even think that was a good play, yeah. I think that was actually a bad play. I should have sucked this bo these Bone Blasters and yeah, just gone for the general, yeah. My opponent actually doing pretty good job at just pressuring me and not uh, giving me any space. Getting even a pre... Air well, Okay, uh, that, there's no way that's a bomb on my tower. There's no way. This bomb skeleton moved too far. Yeah, there, there we go. 
So yeah, he's gonna get a skeleton horde right now. I think I'm gonna try to stop this and mitigate the skeleton horde. Very unfortunate cycle. I would love to have phones for the bone blasters, but yeah, it is what it is. Actually, this six star zero metal player playing pretty decently against me. I'm pretty surprised as well. So yeah, we're gonna have to like make some comeback in double and I think that's gonna be actually a good lesson not only for you guys but for me as well just not to be too aggro in single mana with this deck because uh, the truth is Bomb Skeleton is very expensive and if your opponent knows what uh, he's doing he's gonna pretty much punish you in single so like the double mana time is the time when this deck shines. My Bomb Skeleton will actually go into his bomb skeleton which is fine I guess but at the same time I would love it to tank for the tower and I actually get uh, both of these interactions uh, right now which is absolutely fabulous uh, general is getting the damage I wanted right now everything is just uh, uh, absolutely uh, going uh, according to my plan I do think that's gonna be enough but I wanted just to mitigate actually it was enough I get a perfect counter here, and that's gonna be a very cool way to just start another attack. It's gonna get a very good uh, funking on this one skeleton, and very good EQ to weaken my phone, so the Ice Tiny can just take them out. But I think right now I have a sufficient advantage to just uh, yeah trade with him a bit and secure the win. He gets a Q on my tower, obviously he is kinda desperate for a tower damage. But I don't think it's enough, I'm gonna go with a general and right now he pretty much has to do something and if he doesn't, uh, the game is already sealed. So I'm gonna get my general to the tower, get 2 hits, get 3 hits and I'm gonna be GG. So, very cool game to see, even zero metal player kinda uh, made me work for it, but he was playing very well, like he, he had good responses to the uh, bomb skeleton and general combo in the first place, but... Uh, not many people, even with correct responses, kind of know how to react. He was playing very uh, greedily and that's kind of way you want to play against Bomb Skeleton because if your opponent plays Bomb Skeleton and he doesn't have like some mana reserved for defending it, it's gonna be very hard uh, for uh, like Bomb Skeleton player to uh, hold to his push. And then you just pressure a bit on the opposite side, like you've seen in the previous game, like this position can collapse very quickly, so yeah, without uh, further yapping, let's jump to the game number 5. And the last game of the video will be against Isao, also with zero medals, let's see what he or she, depending on the uh, on the gender of my opponent, is capable of. Let's just cycle some cheap cards, because why not? He's gonna be playing Dark Knight, which is expected from a zero metal player honestly if you have unlocked all the cards and you kind of see the seven mana costing uh, tank which is capable of doing splash damage and jumping all over the place you obviously want to at least try it absolutely reasonable i'm gonna get bomb skeleton and unfortunately once again super devil will cross the bridge before the bomb skeleton because of the speed difference on my opponent very quickly resigns which is not the way I wanted to end this video, but yeah, uh, it looks like it's gonna be uh, this way because I don't think I uh, want to make it uh, even more longer. I think I already kind of delivered the uh, crucial details about how to play this deck and I hope you guys enjoyed the video because if you did, I'm gonna just uh, self advertise at the end as always. Uh, I have way more gameplay already on this channel, so uh, if you want like some tutorial to the deck that I've recorded and you want to pick up on, uh, you be definitely want to search uh, in my channel. And I'm gonna be posting a Boomer in the content every single day from now on, so if a new meta deck like pops uh, out of nowhere, I'm gonna definitely cover it and I'm gonna go through how to play with it. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me in today's video, thank you for watching till the end, if you enjoyed the content smash the subscribe button so you don't miss my future uploads, and yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boomer Arena.